This artistic, data-driven depiction of the observable universe was initially drafted in 2012 by an Argentine musician by using a radial logarithmic scale. A diverse array of astronomical objects across different scales is projected into a fairly distributed and immediately comprehensible composition. While the observable universe is by definition centered on the observer's eye, currently Earth, this map is centered on the Sun to more effectively illustrate the solar system's structure. Notably, our Sun represents the approximate midpoint of our yearly observations. Moving outward, the scale diminishes progressively to accommodate increasingly distant objects. The inner and outer planets and their major moons are presented in a spiral around the Sun. Halley's Comet and various asteroids are also included. Beyond the planets, we encounter a variety of dwarf planets and trans-Neptunian asteroids, including the pluto charon system, Haumea, Eris, Sedna, and the two large interstellar objects yet observed, Oumuamua and 21 Borisov. Further out, we find neighboring star systems from the closest Alpha Centauri triple system to Lumen 16, Barnard Star, and other proximate stars. In the next strip, Sirius and other significant systems located within 1,000 light years are charted. These star systems are presented with their proper names, approximate visual appearance, and member counts. Beyond this point lies the Perseus Arm, along with various star clusters and nebulae that are notable from our vicinity. The Milky Way's disk is depicted with some prominent globular clusters near the core and a collection of satellite galaxies around, including the small and large Magellanic Clouds. It is situated near the other major spirals of the local group, Andromeda and Triangulum. Our group's boundary is delineated by the irregular galaxy, WLM, and our neighboring galaxy group, Mafe. The Council of Giants is a big roundup of galaxies encircling our group, with spiral giants like Sculptor, Pinwheel, Whirlpool, Black Eye, Mafe 2, Bode, Centaurus A, and Circinus. Outward, individual galaxies and galaxy groups merge into filaments that appear yellow due to the Doppler effect, indicating their recession from us at modest velocities. At greater distances, the filaments blend into the logarithmic scale, manifesting as a uniform texture with minor fluctuations of clusters and voids. This texture, where the universe appears evenly dispersed, is called by cosmologists the end of greatness. The reddish hue represented here is due to these regions receding from us at tremendous speeds, which causes their light to stretch. On this scale, the map does not display the current state of these regions. Instead, it shows a time-delayed image that we observe today. Consequently, distant structures appear younger and closer than they locally are. Encircling the composition is the red spherical dome of the cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMBR, the most distant light we can detect. This is not a physical boundary, but rather a sphere of ancient light as seen nowadays. The map's outermost, colorless fringe represents the Big Bang's plasma. This plasma will forever remain unseen, as the light it emitted was instantaneously reabsorbed. Upon seeing this map, Viewers often remark that the universe has no bounds, and they are correct. The only limitation is the time delay in observing further. However, with enough billions of years, our pupil will dilate, revealing much more. Like all maps, this one is not the territory itself. Instead, it symbolizes the extent of our telescopic observations on a radial logarithmic scale. The viewing 3D sphere has been flattened to display a circular slice. Intriguingly, the composition resembles a pupil in awe. Is it the eye of the universe looking back at us? The circular map was assembled into a master poster by a team of designers entitled The Celestial Zoo, which provides some reference facts for every celestial body depicted.